Alrighty, welcome. We are going to be hitting a deep core pelvic floor workout for exercises. We're going to do eight reps each. Feel free to increase the intensity by adding a band um, in different spots. I will go through that afterwards to show you what that would look like. So our first exercise is going to be our ins and outs. We're going to start that on our forearms in our low position. Now remember, we're always going to be bringing that belly button to the low back and keeping that back nice and straight as straight as we can. So here we go. When we are down, our legs are going to be at a hover. So lift it up slightly off the ground. We're going to go for an open and then we'll press it up for in. Lower the forearms out. This is two. We're going slow and controlled. No need to rush these guys. We want a good engagement to be able to hold that engagement. Always just bring that belly button to that low back. This is five. Four, chin away from chest, right? Sorry, six, <laughs> getting backwards. This is seven. And last one here is eight. We'll lower down to relax. Okay, next guy up, we're going to go for a bicycle on the one side. So, hopefully, it doesn't get too caught up here. Legs are down, hands are going to be behind that head. And we're going to go elbow to knee with this one leg lowering to a hover so slow and controlled really pulling that belly button to the low back and using the core to lift the leg in other words don't use that knee to lift it we want to really use that belly to initiate the movement Let's go two more, keep that engagement, lower back flush against that floor. And that's just the one side there. There we go, that's eight. Ooh. All right, next guy, we're gonna stay in this position. We're on our bums, right? So forearms down on the ground, knees are bent and we're gonna push them away slightly and that's going to engage that lower belly pretty quickly. Now for this, I was moving the left leg, I believe, for the bike, so I'm going to move the left leg here, and I'm going for a drop down. This is going to be to a hover, so legs hovering, and bring it back up. Widen out these knees, so we're not so close here. Widen out, hold that engagement, and slowly bring it up. Now, going slow is kind of half the battle, right? So that's kind of how we're adding intensity as well. Again, using that lower quadrant of that abdomen to bring that leg on up. Remember to breathe, no holding your breath here. That lower back is nice and straight, so no arching, no curving. And I did lose count, so I'm gonna go for one more. Beautiful, and now we're gonna turn it on over into a forearm plank with a knee in here. So for our forearm plank, we'll step it out I'm going to plank here so no arching, right? No rounding. We want to, to tuck that core in. And when we press it up into a down dog, we're going to bring that knee in. So I lied. We're coming up, knee in, and then lower. So creating that space, bring it up, knee in, and lower. Same side. Here we go. That's three. Done correctly. <laughs> Remember to breathe, pull that belly into that low back. Seven, last one here. And out, there we go, take a rest. Nice child's pose, let it stretch out that belly, pelvic floor, right? This is a nice relaxed pose. Okay, so those are the four exercises. Now we did have some right versus left, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the band on to show you how to do it with the band and I'm gonna hit the other side. So feel free to pause here, do it without the band on the other side so you're nice and even. And then for round two, we'll do the band. I'm using, I know where it is, a medium 
mini loop band. And the point of whatever I want to call it, it's going to move. So where we're putting the band is going to move. So to start for the first ones, our ins and outs, I call it, this is like a low path situation here. So here we go, eight reps still. <clears throat> we're down, we're down. So we'll go for that open and come on up. That's one. Slow and controlled. Two, so we're adding a little bit of booty in here when we add this resistant band into the situation, a little side booty. Up. Feel free to modify by just bringing the knees in here. You don't have to press yourself up. We can work on that strength building it. If you're with me, let's keep rolling. Six. Seven. Eight. So I would definitely consider this a more intermediate to advanced core workout circuit. Um, but with, that's with the band. So without the band, we're going to build up that heat and you get comfortable with it. And then you bring the band in. Don't feel like you just got to go right into it. Okay. Build it up. Be kind to your body. Work with your body, not against it. Okay. Number two, I think we did our bikes. <laughs> you know, I'm going to be off here. So here we go. That band's going to go around the foot for this one. We're laying back, hands behind that head, and I'm moving the other side. So I'm going right leg in, knee to elbow. So this is a beautiful super engagement in that low belly, pelvic floor, deep core, keeping that lower back flat against the ground. One thing to be mindful of is when you engage your belly, it's not the prettiest, meaning it's probably going to puff up a little bit, adding that engagement, activating those muscles. That's okay. Means you're doing it right. So keep breathing, keep moving, go through the flow. Definitely a lot of toning going on. We're working all sorts of muscles here, things you probably haven't felt in a while. And I'm going to go for one more. This could be nine, could be eight, could be seven. Who knows? <laughs> Take a breath, grab a sit, deep breaths. So we have two more here. We're going to go in for our leg lowers. And for this guy, we were leaning back. Now you can do this all the way down. You can do it on your forearms. You feel that proper engagement, okay? But this is one we're gonna away from you, widen out, and lower. If you are up like this, make sure that lower back is nice and flat, no curving arching, rounding, any of that good stuff. Use that lower quadrant to initiate. It's hard. When you get into these, they fire it all on up. Get some full belly work here. I'm going for two more. Boom. All right, second, let it relax. We're gonna swap on over for our forearm plank dog with me in situation. So here we go. We are in our forearm plank. Come up, knee comes in, back down. Let's go for three. Feel free if you just want to do press ups. And that's where we're at today, and that's where we're at. Pull that belly to the low back. There we go. Drop it down, press it back. 
Relax the belly, the pelvic floor. My head is up just so I'm not breathing so loudly, which I probably am. Ah, alrighty, beautiful. So that's today's core finisher. Add it in wherever you want. Make it a movement snack. Make it your workout. Make it just a part of your day. However you want to fit it in. Lots of work. All right. And remember to stay hydrated. Always get that mobility in, right? Those cat cows, some hip circles. And I hope to see you soon.